Hi there, thanks for joining me for this demo of the email connector for Salesforce and Gmail on mobile. When you receive a message in your Gmail app, just scroll to the bottom and click on the connector icon and everything about this lead or contact in salesforce.com is shown. You can even click on the phone number to dial or click add email to save this message in salesforce.com under the contact. You can even link into an opportunity case or anything else or turn on automatic sync to have messages automatically sent to Salesforce. You can even create new leads, contacts, opportunity, cases, or anything else in salesforce.com. Here, I've received an email from a new lead and I will add it to salesforce.com as a contact. That's it, the contacts in salesforce.com now. Now I've received an email from this new contact telling me about a new opportunity. I can easily create the opportunity by clicking on the plus icon and populate any relevant fields right here inside of my Gmail app. And that's it, the opportunities added to salesforce.com. Now that I created the opportunity, I can reply to the message using salesforce.com email merge templates. This is super handy, especially when sending long messages from mobile that include links and other details. Here's another message and it's good news. The deal has closed. Let me just click on the opportunity right here in Gmail and mark it closed one. Now I need to service my new customer. So here is one more message. Now that they're a customer, they have some issues. Here I will create a case from the latest email message. Note that the subject and body of the message is automatically populated into the salesforce.com case. Let's look at one more scenario. Here I've received a message from yet another customer and I'll open their company record right here in the Gmail app. Now I can look at the details and even edit the company information or the information from any other items related to this sender right here in the app. There's even the option to open related items in the native salesforce.com app and edit it there instead. That's it. Just search for iEnterprises in the Google Marketplace to install it or contact sales at iEnterprises.com for more information. Thanks.